But think, there's, there's just lots of times maybe where, where descriptions and stuff go too far. Oh, sure. I mean, there's like, all sorts. Well, even like, I, I don't know, there was picking many, out, picking out any so one many thing. little things that yeah, slowed it down. Picking out any one thing is going gonna, is gonna to just cause butt-heartedness all around the table. Like, right. oh, it's his thing. Oh, it's your oh, thing. Yeah, oh, it's her like, thing. Like, oh, it's her thing. It was, it was, it was oh, whole, it's his thing. Oh, it's his thing. A whole bunch of those little things. It's six people and it's role play. Like, that's the way I see it, right? And I agree wholeheartedly. There's... Well, I don't know. I mean, you know what we should do is a Sunday sit down and watch a session and talk about it then. Like, we should <laughs> we do one of those again. Because, I mean, I have spent all week last week uh, catching tidbits of the series and, and wishing I could discuss them. And I'm, like, talking to her about stuff, right? And, um, and yeah, the whole time I'm like, man, I just want to, you know, sit down and talk about all of this. So, anyway. So, we should do that. Ooh, I... But that all said. Hmm? Yeah. I was just saying that it'd be a fun thing for me, uh, Celeste, and you to work on is like a kind of like a little recap video. It's like five minutes long with like drawings and stuff. Like oh my god, that would be amazing. Doing yeah. doing a sort of harmony quest, kind of just drawings and voices and yeah, comments. just like quick sketches. That would be awesome. Like like uh like I've just been watching you like it was me just like doing those tiny little details of my drawing. You've done like five, so you can do all the drawings and I'll do like color splashes and then. <laughs> then Dooley can be the narrator. Yeah, we'll just put that in amongst everything else, I say so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do the quick sketches, and Celeste can color them. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I'm saying that that would just be kind of a fun thing. Or hell, just kind of that f- fun style you've done with, like, just random bits of video. Because you're not putting ad, you're not putting YouTube ads on these things. Good. People just starve for good content. Fletcher, what'd yes. you like? What'd you hate? What's your favorite part? What'd you like the least? What I like... Mm was I got another opportunity to kill my character. That was really cool, the jumping down thing. That, that was, was my favorite act, part. Act, that was actually, yeah. That was actually like, my favorite part, when he did the... Uh, I, like, uh, I like doing the drops. The halo yeah. drop, that yeah. was really cool. Yeah. That's actually one of my, like, favorite things of all time wanting to do. That's pretty cool, that splunking through a fog in a cavern. Yeah, pretty much. Nothing more dangerous. Um, what I like the least? Um... None of it, because I enjoy being here. Oh, cop out answers. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to know, uh, me smoking so much. <laughs> I am quitting now. That is not about being deep. Yeah, and honestly, none of us care. <laughs> so there you, go. you can do this thing like I do. I don't drink except for when I'm here. No. There's got to be something you didn't like. It's something that was your least different. favorite. Oh, my least favorite. Um. The merchant being sold out of the materials I need. That you got gifted by SK? That. Well, oh yeah, we were talking about that. I like that, that part. I thought that was funny as fuck, actually. Yeah. What, a, what a great way to troll a player. Which oh, you want to haggle? That's cool. This guy over here is going to buy everything. <laughs> in front of me. Yeah, right in front of you. <laughs> by great. the way. Do you watch Designated Survivor? Because that was totally the plot point of this week's episode. Never, never <laughs> seen that one. But yeah. Do we handle the. So, the, yeah, do the what'd you like? Cool too. What, do we, what'd you like? What'd you hate? Uh, I like the church. That was fun. Um, having the chance to actually show, you know, these old guys flex the muscle, even if uh, storyline wise, I've decided to cap off one of my favorite characters. I like Prey my gun. He's not dead yet. Yeah. No, he's not, actually, and uh, it gives me the opportunity to create... He just needs to wait, like, a couple more months until I get resurrection and more of it. <laughs> hold on, buddy. Resurrection <laughs> doesn't until work until I get <coughs> Yeah, it's kind of a thing, eh? Like, that's, that's the point of this, is... <coughs> eventually, this will turn into a passing of the torch, is, um... This guy's just dying of old age. Like, at the end of the day, he's an old man. Pushed himself too hard and is Paler helping him stay alive? Yeah, yeah. That's what that. Uh, that's what that sudden throb where he's like, uh, he's on the verge of death, and then suddenly there's like light pouring out from his own throat as Paler himself is imbuing him and keeping him alive. Kind of sweet. Well, did you? <laughs> please, did you not, let me die. Yeah, guys, did you not died like two years ago. <laughs> who, who caught that? Who caught what he literally said? Why won't you let me go? Yeah. Yeah. 
So I, knew, I wasn't paying attention because the whole time I thought it was the Ogmite, so I was like, I don't give a shit about this guy dying. <laughs> so what was your, what did you like the least? Oh, sorry. Um, also, what I liked, uh, I liked doing the drop. I like when we finally got it. I hated that it was the last half hour that we got to Crystal Lake. It was Friday the 13th. It was supposed to be a big deal. I had this big thing planned out. And, 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 and in all fairness, when I say this, I'm I'm the one who had this much written for in town shit to literally to wrap up last session, like everything we left over from last session, the council meeting, the fucking the anointed, uh, the etc cetera, etc. Cetera, all of that established. Now I've got to button that up. We've got all that. You guys know about it. You know that the militia is taking care of it, and you guys are needed here. Because this is the dungeon crawl where we answer the questions of where these guys are coming from. Or what's powering these guys. And then that sets the stage for a whole bunch of other stuff. And at the same time, is rooted in a lot of the stuff that you guys have been doing here. So it's like, you know, I bitch about it, but at the same time, I'm not... It's not like I'm not aware of why it's occurring the way it is, or what has led to the point that we're at. Well, for a character standpoint, there's no way that my character would be like, Okay, Militia's dealing with this for a month. That's cool. We'll just do something else. Like, no. That's not how it's going. No, but that's just it. You've been researching this, and you guys have been looking into this, and you guys are at the extent of your knowledge. And then you have to have one of them yell one of the most dominant houses in the city. So I'm like, fuck, now I have to investigate this now. <laughs> right. Shit, why did you have to do that, man? <laughs> oh, cuz. <laughs> Would have just been a note, but now I need to get Celeste's character involved. Like, this is... Ugh. <sighs> Wait till you see how deep this rabbit hole actually goes. That doesn't stop. Oh my gosh, is this like Ultima I've Underworld? Just keep going down and down and down and I down. I love Ultima Online. What are we talking about? Right. An Ultima I'm Underworld, dead. way I'm older. Okay, me too. <sighs> Later, right. guys. See you guys next, see you next week. <laughs> okay, so Celeste and Dooley. My idea with um, the the kind of recap, like every episode, every week thing, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but it just has to be like, uh, you know, just kind of... It would, it would technically have to be every week if we were going to do a recap. Yeah, exactly. You know? Unless week. we wanted to do one, like, 20-minute recap that encompasses all four sessions of a month. No, I think it'd be like a five-minute recap that we air, that you can air right before the stream starts, and that can also help us, like, you know... Check what we're gonna do. Kind of like how you did this year. Basically, uh, you know how you did your email. That can just be your narration that you do for the that you do for the thing, and then I can take that and edit it into the video. Granted um, that actually. Pardon me. No, granted that would be uh, that would be not a bad way of doing and it. And I think when it comes to the art stuff, uh, me and Celeste can kind of like, you know. I'm, I'm totally thinking of like the way that the like you know C team and uh, Acquisitions Incorporated do, where it's like super simplified versions of the characters that are clearly like done in Adobe Flash animation. I'm not saying we do animation, there you go, what I, but what I'm saying yeah, is that they be really simple this. versions. No, this. And we can just like copy with Photoshop <laughs> and just like not have to draw them every time. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so we can just copy we, like we have like three different faces and three different bodies or whatever. And we do like simple versions. How do you do that effect? Layers. Yeah, I know, but I'm just wondering. Winterfell! I mean, no, Winterhold! <laughs> Skyrim.
sheet. No, I, I just said wooden crate ingots, some orc lamb, or something. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's right. effectively what you got. Okay. Because one of them... One of them you you have enough for your project, and then some. Is okay. What it is. okay, I'll just write that down. And we can hammer that out later if you want. Cool. Yeah, so basically the idea is just like really simple versions of the characters that can be... Alright, I gotta go. Uh, like done in Illustrator Perfect. that can be copied. You see it, Fletcher. Uh, button right well, here. I have yep. to watch. I haven't watched any of their stuff in a very long time. So you had an idea. Oh, it's just the it's just the the recap animations. They're like two minutes long. Oh, yeah, I like the I idea. Yeah, they're really short, and we wouldn't have to be nearly as quality as them. Okay, I will see you guys. Because you know they're, they're funded by Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready to go. I'm just saying, this is an idea how to be really fun to do. And I still need to get come up with a new, uh, with a bit of a reskin for your website idea. Because I know it's your baby. You don't want me to, I want to do a good job. <laughs> I'm sure whatever you come up with will be fine. I yeah, also want to do a little bit of a logo redesign right too, because the font you've chosen. Yeah. Script fonts are. Oh, I have a great. logo. This one fellow, he um, he arranged all the types of dice in a starburst sort of sequence. So there's um. Oh, well, that's not what I meant, but that is cool. No, it is a very cool design. It's uh, D20, and then a bunch of D12s around it, and then a bunch of D10s around that, and then a bunch of D8s, and then a bunch of D4s, and it just looks absolutely cool. Sweet. Uh, I've Did had that sitting in my. I've been. I've been. I had that. I've had that sitting in my uh, Reddit inbox for an age. I've been meaning to. That would be sick. Myself what did he send it to you as? Is, is it a is it a JPEG or did he send you a vector? <laughs> no, it's a it's a pinch. It's raster. Oh, okay. But well, I, I, I didn't easily... really care about that. I mean, you could easily just generate it, make the shapes, and then you can copy in a circle. Which one's table? Um, uh, and I just an idea is to have it so that there's the, all the dice oh, uh, for right Dungeons and Dragons on the on the web page. And when you click on it, it actually tumbles and rolls and rolls a number. That'd be, you know what? Something like, um, you know what? Just little shit like that. Wait, right? thoroughly random, thoroughly random building on that. What if the logo was literally those dice in 3D? And if you click it, um, yeah, like I'm just trying to think maybe it's useful. You can click like a number of dice and then throw it and it would like roll those dice off of the logo and they just land over here and you could like roll all the dice in the logo yeah. and it was just there was a plane there yeah, and, it, and it would just like or actually it was even flat so you just roll them and they just roll along the surface like they were just sitting there arranged in that way yeah. that'd be hilarious yeah people like to play with stuff like that that'd be fun I don't know anyway so if she ever does that that'd be cool and then now uh, I'll reskin the site based on that Otherwise, yeah, not a bad session. Could have been better. But not a bad session. And by could have been better, I mean just faster through stuff. I think everything we did is important. It's just we got, we had to do it faster. Yeah. Like I said, there was a lot that was improving. So we kept it going. Yeah, there's been a lot of that of late. I've been uh, really developing the story further and further. Um, and every time everybody comes back from the dungeon crawls, you know, they get further into, uh, further embroiled in the city's doings, uh, further develop their abilities within the city's doings, uh, and that's been the goal, my goal with every character. That's what my guy's been slowly doing, is, like, this is your strongest ally are the people, when the people are behind you. Yeah, and I, I get that. <coughs> your character will eventually have the same sort of arc that Ivor is going to go through here. Uh, every character is going to become kind of like based on the, like the way I see it, and this is just you know spoilers uh, in case anybody's interested in avoiding them. Uh, like I have an overarching plan in mind, okay? and uh, and it's like everyone's going to go through a classic sort of hero hero arc where you'll become like the friend of the people, and then the enemy of the people, and then the friend of the people again. Like you redeem yourself, right? Uh, and so it'll go with Ivor as well. He'll lose faith. He'll lose.